Hi, Mrs. Wilkins here, your favorite fifth grade teacher. I'm here to give a little help from the My Math Book Volume 2. And we are going to open up to page 575. And I am going to be going over question number four. This is the review page in My Math, so it's good for you all to tune in to this video. So if you remember what we talked about earlier in a teaching video, a fraction is made up of two parts. It has a numerator and a denominator. And I like to say the fraction bar means divide. The fraction bar means divide. The fraction bar means divide, okay? So it is a word problem. Now, how many times does the average person need to read a word problem? I always say the average person needs to read a word problem three times before solving. So let's go ahead and read the problem and then show our work. Remember that this is coming from the My Math book. And this is going to be on page 575. This is question number four. One of my fifth graders needed help with. Let's do the first read. Three gallons of paint are used to paint 16 wooden signs. How much paint did each sign use? Between what two whole numbers does the answer lie? This time when I read the problem, I'm going to write down the important information exactly as they give it to me in the problem. Three gallons of paint are used to paint 16 wooden signs. How much paint did each sign use? Between what two whole numbers does the answer lie? Now, in the problem, they told me the first number, three gallons first. So I know that that's going to be the numerator of my fraction. So I'm going to put in my fraction bar. Fraction bar means divide. The fraction bar means divide three gallons. And then it says we're used to paint 16 wooden signs. I know 16 is going to be the denominator of my fraction. So my answer is going to be 3 sixteenths as a fraction. Now what label should we put there? What label should we put? Let's go to the question to figure out 3 sixteenths what? What unit are we going to put? The question says, how much paint did each sign use? And they reported, reported the paint in gallons. So I'm going to put 3 16 gallons. 3 16 of a gallon. Then the last sentence says, between what two whole numbers does the answer lie? I know that fractions are less than one, but greater than zero. I'll say that again. And I'll write it down so you can take this note. Most fractions are less than what? Fractions are less than what? One, but what? Greater than zero, period. So fractions are less than one, but greater than zero. So we can answer that question, between what two numbers does our answer lie? So our answer, 3 16 gallon, lies between zero and one. So these are your answers for question number four in my math page 575. Click like if you think this video was helpful for you, for your fifth grade my math. See you in the next one.